Man, that's some depressing-ass music to start off the first episode, but we're going to get going anyways. Hello, everybody. My name is Pandas Taste Good, and I don't know if anyone's going to watch this stream, but I want to do a show, and I'll be doggone if I'm not going to just do it. I've talked about it enough. Might as well just do it. Except it's not working. There we go. So, one of the things I want to do is I want to talk about, I want to start a show just kind of doing a podcast, talking with uh, possibly some other people, and just do a show talking about whatever I feel like. So today, to start it off, I want to talk about something that I really, I truly believe in, and something I hold near and dear to my heart. If you want to catch it live and take part in the discussion, you're welcome to join on Twitch. I'd love to see, you know, have a conversation and a, uh, some sort of discourse over this. Um, but I'll upload the video to YouTube later on. One of the things I want to talk about is women's equality. Um, let me say, first of all, that these are my opinions. They don't represent anybody else. They don't represent any of my friends. It's okay to have friends that have different opinions than you. What I want to tell you is that uh, this is my take on it. You can disagree, you can argue, you can hate me, but this is just who I am. I do not believe in women's equality. Fully. By women's equality, I mean the, the idea that women and men are 100% equal. I don't believe that. I keep moving my mic. I didn't take that out. And I apologize if that upsets some people. I really don't think women and men are equal. No, what I mean by that, the reason I say that I don't support full equality between men and women, I don't believe that a woman should ever be struck or acted upon with violence by a man unless that man's life is in danger. You see a lot of videos out there on YouTube um, titled Feminism Owned or something like that. Or you believe in feminism, well here, and it's a woman smacking a guy around, not really hurting him. In some of the videos they are, but some of the videos the woman's pushing the guy so the guy hauls off and punches her in the face. I don't think that's okay. And I've thought about this a long, for a long time. It's not something that I'm just like randomly, nope, I decided today. I really don't think that's okay. And that's why I say I don't believe in equality. Now, the idea of equality as it relates to pay and working conditions, I can totally get behind that. But with the caveat that it should be equality if people want it. What I mean is, if you have, um, let's say you have a job digging ditches, and you're hiring for it, a woman and a man both put in for it, they both uh, pass a background check, they're both qualified, pick one or the other, don't just pick a woman for a job because she's a woman. Don't just pick the man for the job because he's the man. Don't just pay the woman what you think she should get because she's a woman because obviously she won't be able to do as good a job as anybody else. I believe, again, my opinion, that when it comes to the workplace, there's no room for discrimination or sexism or racism. I mean, there's a federal law which prohibits, not that it helps people, You can't um, discriminate based on what are the protected classes, age, race, sex, religion, um, ethnicity. Sexual uh, orientation is not, I don't believe it's federally protected, though some states have adopted, uh, they pass legislation where in some states it's protected. I don't think it's protected nationally. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I did hiring and firing. So from a workplace standpoint, I 100% believe in equality. As far as pay and working conditions. But at the same time, 
again, there's a caveat. Women and men are different in that women will have different needs, just like men will have different needs. For instance, if a woman gives birth, there she will need more leave. Bottom line. And anyone who says, I could go back to work the next week, you're an idiot. Women need additional time off when their child is born. And I think it should be that way. Also, um, a mother who is attempting to uh, breastfeed her child or has had a child needs time off of work to pump. There are serious medical ramifications if a woman does not um, take care of herself when she's creating milk. And yeah, this might be a little TMI, but I don't care. Men, after... Uh, now, no matter what uh, orientation you are or how you identify yourself, if you're a man, you cannot push a child out of a vagina that you have on your body. I'm sure there's surgeries and medical miracles out there to give you the correct parts, maybe. I don't even know how that would work. But if you did not give birth to the child, you do not need special time off as much as the mom. However, you should still get time off for your kid. Be there for other children you might have. Be there for your wife. Be there for the newborn baby. Because that's a very important part of the child's life and your life. Now take childbirth aside. Let's take that whole event off. What if you're never having kids? Women and men have different things happening in their body. And men, men don't need as much uh, special treatment in the hygiene and cyclical nature of the human body as women do. Again, we're talking about women and equality. Equality between men and women. There will never be 100% equality between men and women. I sure hope not. Uh, I talked about physical violence. I, I'm talking, of course, about a uh, woman's menstruation. It's just a fact of life. You can't expect a man and a woman to have the exact same day every day. That being said, just because they have different needs doesn't mean you can pay someone less. Doesn't mean you can... Doesn't make it okay for guys to look at some gal and say, well, you're wearing a really short skirt. You need to go home and change. Um, I can see your your legs above your knees, and the guys are going to be uh, you're gonna be hooting and hollering. You either have to deal with it or you got to go change. That kind of stuff's not okay. Would you tell a guy? Uh, I mean, I, I, I would hope you would tell a guy who's ripped, not looking like me, Say, hey, you're wearing a tank top and we can see your pectoral muscles and your nips. Go home and change. I would hope you would tell people that. But the burden is usually on the women in all cases. There should be equality in the way you treat people as far as the expectations at work and in society. Another area for... and Again, the, I'm, I'm going to be doing this... Uh, a dad's point of view. I want to do this more often, covering a range of topics. And I want to have people on the show to kind of to talk about it. So this is the first one. Probably not going to get much traction. Maybe five views. That's okay. I really just want to put it out there that uh, a lot of the people who claim to be feminists, people who claim to be all about equality, and this goes for more than just men and women, a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people who are out there preaching and using the word equality are actually uh, trying to put their their interested party, whatever group they represent, on a pedestal. Elevate their rights and their stature. And usually it's not by calling out inadequacies in the way people are treated and their group is that their group is treated. It's usually by lowering the platform and taking the legs out from another group or interested party. And we're, when I'm talking about women's equality, um, there are some women out there who do a great job of speaking for equality. They call out inequality in the workplace. It comes up in the workplace a lot because for some reason people think that women should be paid, what is it, like 60, 70 cents on the dollar, maybe even less. They think that's okay. 
people, uh, I think uh, someone in Hollywood had recently ran into that, actually. They put a stop to that. Anyways, um, there are people who claim to be representing women, women's interests, women's rights. But a lot of these people are doing so by saying that men don't deserve this, men don't deserve that. If you have a platform and you use equality as a rallying cry, but your core values revolve around hate toward another group, one, you're going to lose credibility with a lot of people, and two, there's going to almost never be a consensus that you were right. You can't, in my eyes, equality is about treating people nice, treating people the way you want to be treated. And equality really boils down to love. And you can't promote a cause that you claim is revolving around love by spouting hate. Back to what I was talking about, women's equality. Um, I don't believe men and women are fully equal. I don't believe they ever should be. how it goes that's that's how i feel and i'm okay with that probably have a lot more i need to say on the matter probably i don't know if i communicated my point succinctly enough um i'm gonna be doing these quite a bit on twitch um so like what 12 minutes something like that if you uh if you want to join in the discussion, you are welcome to come by, hang out, tell me how wrong I am. I think the next one I want to talk about is a hot topic. I want to talk about maybe gun rights. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's just get that out of the way because I know a lot of people are opinionated about that. So if you want to make sure to catch the next one and give your opinion and tell me how wrong I am, you are welcome to come by on Twitch and do that. No, the last thing I want to say about women's equality before I wrap it up here is uh, it is never okay, no matter the group, no matter the entity, to treat somebody poorly. It just never is. And this goes for both sides of the discussion. Don't be a dick to try to convince people to side with you. It's never going to work. Okay, I guess it works for politicians. Don't do it. All right, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Again, I guess I'm probably going to just talk about guns. I don't know what the angle is going to be. See if I can get somebody who wants to talk about it with me, and we'll go from there. Until then, take care. This has been A Dad's Point of View. By the way, it's called A Dad's Point of View because I'm a dad. I'm just some regular guy. I'm not some rich snob living in some mansion somewhere i'm a just a regular guy so yeah that's about it take care